My name is Kevin Zhang. I'm an upcycling product designer from Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a very, very crowded city. We have 7 million people living here. With that dense amount of people, we are producing 13,000 tons of solid waste every day, which uh, we simply dump it all in the landfill. Most of our landfill is filling up uh, in two or three years. We don't really have a solution to it. City people is too busy. It's very common to feel that whenever you throw waste into a garbage bin, it's no longer their problem. That's the mindset that creating a lot of waste that we throw away every day. When we call it waste material, it our material just end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Product designer always work with different material. Waste material or new material, they're just material. The material I use is collect all around the city. It's very different from designing an ordinary product because you can always buy material from factory. But designing an upcycling product, we don't buy material. We only create something when we get the waste material. Upcycling basically means we collect all those waste material. We try to keep all the material characteristic and turn it into something useful. Usually the first step is we look at the properties of the material. For example, the plastic bottle is naturally a great sound box because it has a very sturdy structure and the internal volume inside is very big. With the handle, it indicates that product is portable, that it's almost inviting people to hold that handle and bring it out. In Hong Kong, everyone has a rice cooker at home. When you hit it, it makes a very loud and clear bell sound. That sound inspired me. It's actually been used before. So there's different scratch mark, there's different coating inside. Originally, it's why people throw that away. Once we keep that and turn it about, that becomes the most valuable part. Upcycling is something interesting that you use a similar method of producing product, but when the product comes out, every piece is unique. People can tell what was the material and uh, how it was being used, like the previous life. They have all seen that material before. We are not just selling a product, we are selling a story behind. Once they react to a story, the product becomes more than a product. People can actually tell how much waste can be reused and in a very useful way. So hopefully next time, they break something or they want to throw, they can actually willing to spend some more time or some more effort trying to make it something useful again. I think all the big cities have a similar problem. They have a very dense population and they have a gigantic solid waste problem. It's always like eye-opening to go outside of Hong Kong and see this problem is not just ours and it's shared by people around the world. By me, myself, using a tiny portion of waste that originally going to landfill is not solving any problem. It's very important to change the perspective of people on waste because the waste is produced by each one of us. I think every day I just try to do something I don't feel guilty about it. 
So just a product designer trying to do good. <laughs>